Do you know what time it is? It's approximately 10.36 a.m. Could have reacted to it at midnight. I think it was tired as fuck. Had to work in the a.m. Watch my nets not get their ass kicked. Well, they did in the first quarter, but then... Two very boring minutes later. Yeah, we're not even here for this. You know, I see Hall of Fame. I think basketball, so... Let's go ahead and roll the intro. Fuck. Yo, what it is? It's a boy, Burst Boy, Bone Video, and today, this is the first album reviews in a while. Damn. Polo G, Hall of Fame. Oh, damn, what? I need the green screen, don't I? I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Fuck love. Okay, Lord. Music video dropping in 20 minutes, so we'll try and get through this. This is not gonna go 20 minutes, bro. I promise you. I listen to the songs. If you don't know, I listen to the songs and then give my feedback. So y'all don't hear the songs on here. If you want to listen to them, listen to them yourself, my nigga, so you know what I'm talking about. Bitch. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, shit. <sighs> Polo G, the best rapper out right now, bro. That last... Bloody canvas? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. But fuck. That shit. Alright, bro. Let's start. Before before we get into this, I'm going to just say, all the songs that have been released prior, like Rap Star, Toxic, Epidemic, Gang Gang, and GNF, are all, I'm not saying anything about those, because you can go watch my reaction to the music videos. Also, same thing for No Return. Music video came out 25 minutes ago. I haven't watched it yet, but I will. And it will be up, I don't know, right after this, maybe. Maybe before. Probably before. Probably before. Uh, so, start with number one. Painting picture. Painting picture? Painting pictures? Painting pictures. This one was just like the classic Polo G, like... Just rapping about some real shit, hood shit, you know? So it wasn't nothing too crazy about it. But the thing he said, something that y'all need to hear, bro. Everything you do in the dark, gonna come to light. No matter. The niggas who you are comfortable saying that shit around are comfortable telling that other nigga that you're talking about. That's the crazy thing. Uh, and then Rap Star, No Return, Toxic, Epidemic, Gang Gang. Then boom. Boom was, that's when this shit started to not pick up. Because we did skip five songs. But boom was like, that instrumental was fucking heat. At the beginning, that instrumental was heat. Slam on a nigga like Drummond though. I don't know about that line, bro. That shit did not age well. I don't know when you wrote that. That shit did not age well, bro. You could have said someone else. Probably. But, but but whatever. But the boom flow. I don't remember it as much. But the flow. I just know the flow was heat bro. Because I wrote it down. The boom flow was crazy. And when he started saying whoa. Crazy. Lit. Heat. Sheet. Um, Black hearted. I wrote down it sounded like a Life is Strange beat. If Life is Strange had a black storyline, like that's the beat that they would use. Black hearted. And he said, he said, he had two, he had two fire ass lines in here. My pops was there. Was it my pops was there for me? My pops was there so I'd be damned. I'd be dead beat. Speaking into existence, bro. Plus, you got money already, so it's like you might as well be there. Like, what you got to run from, bro? You can pay the bills. 
How many kids Polo G got? Don't he just got one? I don't know. Um, and then he said, they hear me talking, but I don't think they understand me. Like you, like you hear me, you're just not listening. You hear me, you're not listening though. You feel me? Message. Message. Then we got Broken Guitars. Now that one was like a fight movie song. Like, I don't know, like if. Like that's something they would play at the Logan Paul vs. Floyd Mayweather fight or some shit. Um, he said, you wasted my time. I feel like you owe me. Bro, time, you can't get time back. That's the thing. Like, you can't get that shit back. So it's like, nigga, if you just wasted my time, you owe me, bro. You owe me something. It's like working. You don't work for free, nigga. You work to get paid. Time is money. Money is time. If I'm doing shit for you for free... You better, you better, you better give me something else, bro. You better give me something else. Uh, he, what did he say? He said, he said, uh, the flow he had, I don't really remember like that, but the flow he had, because he did a song with KSI and I think another UK dude, the way he sounded on that song it sounded like he recorded this at the same time. He was just feeling that. He was feeling that flow. Like he was in that stage. You feel me? Um, and Scory. I'm not even joking. Scory really sounds like a young version of Polo G. A younger version of Polo G. He does. Like they got the same. Cadence. I guess. Um, but yeah. GNF, go go watch it. Go part one with G Herbo. I don't really listen to G Herbo. He's okay. He did. He had one fire ass line. That was it. But Polo G said, "My roly presidential, like I know the state, not the state. Fuck, I fucked it up, bro. My roly presidential, like I know the Senate. Twin forty stick together just like Gina and Pam. That's that's a separate line." What is with him and Martin? That was his favorite show? Because no one ever be rapping about Fresh Prince. Except, um, Joyner Lucas. So Joyner Lucas is Fresh Prince. Polo G is Martin. They need a collab then. That would be so fire if they did a, if they did a song... And they was just dropping Martin Bars, Fresh Prince Bars, Will Smith Bars, you know, Bad Boys. They could make a joint album or something called Bad Boys. That'd be fucking heat. You heard it here first, bro. That would be some fire ass shit. Lit. Will Smith would be hit to it. Martin would be hit to it. Martin reacted to Polo G's video. Will Smith did a remix to Jordan Lucas's song about Will Smith. So, just throw that out there. Um, Heart of a Giant. If it's a song with Raw Wave, bro, you know it's gonna be some real shit, and you know it's gonna be like not sad, but it's gonna have that vibe where it's like. And got you thinking, you know. So, and on this, this is the song where I was like, "Damn, Polo is really the best rapper out right now." Who's better? Like st statistically, who's better? I know niggas want to clown and say Young Boy, oh Lil Durk better than Polo G. Like no, nigga, no, they're not. I, I'm sorry. Because when Polo G, Polo G is versatile, bro. He's becoming versa, versa, he's gaining that versatility. You feel me? Um, then we got the Zooted Freestyle. This is kind of heat. My little homie known for shooting. Like he Cole Bennett. You get it, bro? Cole Bennett. He shoot the music videos. No. Fuck 
fuck you then, bro. You need a... You need a, you know? Pay attention. Uh, he also said, he also said, I can't say I'm sorry about some shit that I'm gonna do again. Like, why am I apologizing, bro? I'm gonna just do it again. Like, I'm not sorry, bro. I, there was no lesson learned. I don't really care. I'm going to do this shit again. So, fuck from around me. Bitch. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. We need to go back. We need to go back a little bit, bro. We need to go back to uh, Go Part 1 with Raw Wave. Not Rod Wave, G Herbo. I didn't even say his line. I was too stuck on the Martin, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith shit. His line was, no bat. I don't bat a lot. Can't say no cap on a cap. Because I'm with cap a lot. I just had to throw that in there. Once he said, like, no bat, I don't bat, I knew he had to throw in cap a lot somewhere. Somewhere in there. But now, back to Zooted Freestyle. Uh, last thing about it, I, I hate how I write these shits down, but I don't remember how they went. You know how we, ra, ah, ah, something like that. Ra, ah, 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 some shit. I don't know. Just know that shit was hard because the beat was hitting the same time he was like, ah, so ra, ah, something like that. I don't know. And then he faded it out at the end, which is like, bro, he was still saying shit. The ending, it didn't end how you wanted it to? I feel you. Um, party life. Bro, when he strains, is that how you, when he strains, extends? When he strains the words, when he uses his, the vocals, that shit is fucking heat. That's the versatility right there. He did that on Gang Gang. I forget what the word was. Something like that. Um, and then this nigga, the baby, of course this nigga came on. Throw that pussy back for me and they gotta have some, some clapping sounds in there. Okay. And that nigga was, he really had, he put some emotion in it, bro. He really did. Like, nigga sounded like, you know, he was yelling into the mic. Well, not yelling, but like, angry, furious, infuriated. And then something about hanging with the mom, with his mom, brother, daughter, something like that. And then his, his family matters like the Winslow's. A lot of people don't know who the Winslows are or what Family Matter is. Let me just, you know, cut out the middleman. It's the show with Urkel. Steve Urkel. Did I do that? Yeah, that, that nigga. And that, the, the beat going out was fucking heat. All these beats were fucking fire, bro. Fire. Even the sad ones. Ah. Um, not sad, but like, you know, you know what I mean. Losses. Right off the right off the bat, bro. When he was them O's, them O's. When he, he was straining the O's, bro. I can't replicate it because I forget. But he was straining them O's, and it was so far that I wrote it down. And then the way Young Thug sounds kind of killed the vibe. I wouldn't say really killed it, but it's like oh. Here goes Young Thug. Now it'll it'll probably be probably be more fire as you listen to it, but the more you listen to it, but first impressions, I, you know, so real. Now so real sounding like it would be in a Disney movie, not even just a Disney movie, but like a heartwarming part of a movie. Or like a sad part. I don't know why. 
It just had that feel to it. The 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 beat. 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 Ugh. Fame and riches. Now, when I saw Fame and Riches, like the title, I was like, oh, this sounds like a song for Rod Wave. And listening to it, it still sounded like a song that Rod Wave would have been fire on. But Roddy Rich also did this thing. It's just that when I hear Roddy Rich, I just think, how does the song go? That's all I think about when I hear Roddy Rich's voice. That's the that's the thing about having a a viral song, bro. It's just you know. Um and he was what is with Polo G just loves the sound of guitars, I guess. Like he loves them guitar sounds. He had it in Rap Star too. Doom 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 doom. Cop the BMW, new deposit, I picked up another bad life, fucking I'm drowned when I'm in it. Something like that. Uh, what else? He had a line. When I had a kid, I see why my mama's soft. Yeah, you don't know until you get there, bro. I don't know. I'll find out eventually, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, you gotta you gotta take care of your kin folk. You gotta take care of your kids. Niggas be doing dumb shit. Damn, I look kinda buff. It's all black. You know what I'm saying? Pull up on me, nigga. No cap. Cap a lot. Pat pat. Huh? I'm tripping. I have mean, any um what did I just say? I don't know. Um, posted on the strip selling Demi Lovato. And then, like, right after that, he said a line. I didn't write this down, but right after that, he said a line where it was, like, asking for forgiveness. Bro, you just dissed Demi Lovato. Was that a diss? I wouldn't say that's a diss. I mean, it's kind of facts, but you ain't got to say it. Um, For the love of New York, even going into this song, I was like... Nikki, Nikki is not about to match his energy. He's not. She's not about to match the vibe. And lo and behold, she did not. But y'all think Polo smashed though? Nah. You know the song only Nikki has with Drake, Lil Wayne, and Chris Brown. I don't know if it's because Chris Brown didn't have a verse or he was just a chorus. But first thing Nikki said, I never fucked Wayne. I never fucked Drake. Not once in the song did she say, I never fucked Breezy. So, Breezy, smash. <laughs> Hands down. And it was like a, it was like an upbeat white song. Like some shit that white people would play at a party. Not like white people that like rap, just like Forever 21 kind of white people. You know what I mean? And Nikki, you know, could have been better. And her her outro part, that little, like, 10 seconds or 15, whatever it was, that outro part was better than her whole verse. Like, I would have rather had her sing, sing on the track than rap. She has, like, four different flows. She could have picked any other one of those. Maybe two, because there's one where she's like, I don't know. There's one where she's like, her voice is hella deep. So that one and the one she did, get those out of here. You know? Uh, Clueless? Oh my gosh, Clueless was fucking heat. Pop Smoke was heat. I want a music video. Pop Smoke, you know, obviously can't be in there. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. But Fabio, Fabio is fucking, he's probably funny as hell in real life, to be honest with you. And I know they cool from Double XL. They had Bop It, which is fire. And 
the whole them as a trio was heat. Like I fucked with the song before Polo even came in. It was really Pop Smoke and Fabio for like the whole first half of the song. Then Polo came in and he was spitting fire straight hot fire. And last but not least, Bloody Canvas. Now this was a song I couldn't write anything down, bro. I was just listening. Only thing I wrote down was after the song. I said, there's nothing you can do but listen. That's it. You have to listen to it. Best song. Probably it was the longest one too, I think. Yep, 4 minutes, 25 seconds. He was literally... Like, when I heard this, I'm thinking in my mind. I'm Dante is going to fucking love this song. Because it's just a story. He's literally telling the story of himself, his nigga Jacob, oh shit, that nigga Rodney, fuck Rodney, bro, and I don't know who got arrested, but literally telling the story, if there's a music video to that one, that would, that would be a fire music video, but it's also going to be like, probably hard for him to make, emotionally. You know? Because he just like, he's he's reliving it, bro. So it's, you know? But, that's the best song on the album. By far. Not sound-wise, but like, it has the most meaning. You feel me? Well, I, ha I haven't even heard No Return. You already think, you already know No Return is going to be my favorite song off the album. But best song, Bloody Canvas, for sure. Um, so yeah. That's it for this video. That's it for this review. Back to the OG days. You know what I'm saying? So, um, go check out my reactions to... Rap Star, Toxic, Epidemic, Gang Gang, GNF, OK, OK, OK. GNS says forgive no fucks if you don't, if you didn't know that. It took me like the whole day to figure that out. And then No Return will be up sometime today. Because I still got to do the, the Young Blue song with Chris Brown and 2 Chains. This, I'll probably upload this last. Might schedule this for like 6 or something like that. I don't know. But, um, Yeah. So if it's your hope you guys enjoy, make sure you scroll down and subscribe. Once again, we're on the way to 400 subs. If there are any new Polo G fans that haven't seen any of my reactions or anything yet, check them out. Subscribe. It's free. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but if you're not, bro, like Leroy said, no return. This is the point of no return. Once you subscribe, bro, you're not unsubscribed. Well, you might, but... That's it, bro. I'm out. Peace. Bye.